Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm a drum officer with Babylon. Hi, my name's Phil. I play guitar, uh, I sing, and sometimes I play piano yeah. for Sigla Babylon. And uh, my name's Corey, and I play bass. Through low ends. <laughs> for Sigla Babylon, you've just said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Sigla Babylon started off, uh, which basically just me and you, really. It was uh, out, of, uh, out of another band, wasn't it? So we, we just decided to just mess around didn't really yeah, it wasn't really a serious band to start with it was like a, it was a little bit uh, dispersed with the music we were doing for yeah, starters and yeah. we, we, it was really keyboard and synth uh, based you know yeah, what yeah. I mean it wasn't really a guitar based band to start with we uh, didn't have a plan no we were just like we want to make music uh, yeah. I like yeah so we got we got Corey in uh, like session playing yeah. it's going really well and uh, yeah you're loving it yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we've still got other people that help us out uh, and stuff yeah. like that, but it's like Corey is like our number one player um, and he's always there. He just do the Tasty Jams work, Corey. Tasty jams. It's cool because he brings a lot of elements that went on before yeah. to our music, which is cool. He's got a very defined stage presence, I think, as well, which helps us out quite a lot because we, we never really managed to settle on a third member um, yeah. because it was very focused on me and Frank, well, Ryan, uh, what we wanted to do. Um, and the direction we wanted to take our music, and as soon as people sort of like decided to get the feet on the table, it became a little bit more tainted, and yeah, it wasn't yeah. what we wanted to do. So um, we had a clear vision. Yeah, we've always had but a clear vision. To start with, we didn't, but then yeah. he, when we started getting recording, that we had a clear vision. Yeah, we, what it, we wanted to do. Seeing, so. seeing bands and playing with bands such as like uh, the Virgin Marys, we played with them. They yeah. were a really good band. That was a yeah. really good show in Hull. Um, That's a brilliant show. And really show. you know, and we played with. Uh, there's other bands which are really good friend of ours recently done a, uh, a gig with uh, a band called City of Lights uh, they're yeah. a Leeds based band they're good friends of ours and we played that in Hull as well that was another yeah. gig we played in Hull but that it inspires us in what we want to do as well as big bands that when we decide to pick a guitar up again back in, in this band there's bands like Biffy Kings of Leon you know Block Party yeah. bands such as that there's sort of like because it's bands I've always listened to and then it's you know heroes childhood heroes like Robert Smith out the cure very influences the way that I write songs as well so thing is just influenced by lots of different things really because I like Motown yeah it's, it's <laughs> I love Motown, Motown things and stuff like that so and then like all that from like dance music I mean Cybernet and that old mates with and stuff yeah and... right the band name Soul of Babylon <laughs> was uh I really, well, to start off with, obviously, we weren't thinking too much about like a band name which is going to be uh, something that's going to become iconic. But I don't think all the best band names do. You know, I think people just make a name uh, sometimes for the reason of the name's sake. It's like, but it come about from like we're all really big fans of like comic books and yeah, cartoons yeah. and stuff like that. We're quite childish. Um, so. <laughs> And <laughs> when, when I was a kid, uh, my granddad uh, used to bring back these uh, uh, lads from magazines and comic books from other countries and stuff like that because uh, he, was, he was a sailor um, and he had like loads of stuff there. My uncle Howard did as well, he was a sailor. He was a stuff. But there was one that stood out for me, it was called Toro or something like that. And there was a character in it called Zulu and he was like, uh, he was, he was sort of like his, where he was from was the first city of Babylon. <laughs> Unofficial roles? I You're really good at homekeeping. I remember we were in London and... Oh, don't, man. You made some, 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 some good breakfast there. I mean, no, I, no, I, I, I mean, our I, breakfast was better. <laughs> well, <laughs> my cheesy pizza and lots of cheese. And yeah, I did have that. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. I, I, I like to think I'm quite the dad of the band. Maybe, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Realistic one, maybe? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're the party guy. <laughs> I'm the party guy. You're the party guy, yeah. I'm the party guy. But, but uh, I, yeah, we both have different roles. It swaps as well. Yeah. I think quite yeah, a lot. Sometimes I, I, I get right madder. Yeah. Because I organise a lot of stuff. But sometimes I'll, I'll wind you up to. He, he makes it even worse. If I'm having a really bad day and I've organised stuff and everything's going wrong, it's like he'll wind me up. I'll, I'll go to the venue and go, oh man. I lost my sticks, I forgot to bring it. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. But it's alright, it's good. We, you need that banter. It's good. Yeah. You know? And then we get Corey. And then Corey we... Jones is like, <laughs> it's like the words of wisdom. Yeah, I, any of his problems uh, are, are, are then. You've got like normal issues, and then you've got Phil's issues. <laughs> I, like, I like to see Phil as like in a sinking ship, and he'll just pock one hole and another hole, and he's just got every everything. <laughs> that, is, that is Phil when his problems. Am I might at the top <laughs> pouring my water. <laughs> Personal influences. Uh, I'll say I, I like Motown music. Uh, grew up listening to. Well, my dad's a massive Elvis fan, so I grew up listening to like Elvis, 
and my mum's like a massive Carpenters fan. <laughs> so I grew up listening to like a lot of Elvis Carpenters. Both my brothers, they used to be in uh, bands like my oldest brother used to be in a band like Motley Crew, which it was hilarious. Uh, especially when you look at the photographs. And <laughs> but um, like my second brother, he was in a, a pop punk band. He toured Japan a few times and stuff, and he did quite well for himself. And um, yeah, so I, I got I got a hybrid of Elvis Carpenters, um, pop punk, Motley Crew sort of stuff. But myself, I I, I like I like, mo- I like a lot of Motown music, soul music. Anything really, it's just oh, that's got a decent beat. Being a drummer, and that, it's quite. That's what, that's, what that's what I listen to. That's what I hone in on. Good beat, good melody, solid. I think uh, I think the bands that uh, I really like. Uh, I grew up with my mum was like to worked at um, a place called Rock City in Nottingham. Um, obviously, it's like. She was around with a lot of eighties sort of like you know big head musicians and stuff. Did she know so. brother's band? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> so um, like I grew up around that sort of thing and music like Kate Bush and stuff. And then um, I lived at my grandmother's for quite a long time. She was a really big Elvis fan, and so I listened to lots of uh, rock and roll and you know fifties sort of stuff. And then my mum obviously liked the in her her her, 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 her age bracket, sorry, um, the, the Manchester scene, but it was more sort of like. Um, uh, uh, sort of like the Cure and the Smiths and stuff like that that she took as well as like bands say like Happy Mondays and stuff so I've grown up around that and then obviously through my teenage years I was a big fan of bands like Blink-182 and stuff like that but I always kept my roots back to the bands that I really liked um, yeah. from being a kid as well I mean it's like I still like U2 as well they're a really good band that I, I listen to and the thing is we all come I don't know we're, we're all into uh, alternative music, yeah. punk music. Yeah, well, there was this music. middle ground. Obviously, yeah. as being a teenager, where yeah, like you, so you know, you, you meet everybody, and it's like uh, you mix into like Black Flag, and you're yeah. like, yeah, right, like in New Orleans, <laughs> and you start hanging out with them, yeah. and then you go at parties together, it's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so but, it's, you, know, you don't. You don't want to admit when you're younger, ah, oh, I quite like Elvis Presley. Yeah, I quite like Elvis as well. And then everyone's yeah. like, oh man, we are so cool. I grew up listening to the Carpenters. <laughs> yeah, yeah man, it's like Kate yeah. Bush. <laughs> yeah. so. But no, it's just, yeah, yeah. you've got quite diverse music yeah, taste, yeah. don't we, really? Yeah. I'd say so. Anyway. Yeah. But you, Corey? My influences range from anything from Michael Jackson to Metallica, uh, <laughs> Beyonce. Love Beyonce at the minute. She's she's good. she's brilliant. Lady Gaga, anything like that. As long as it's got like a same as uh, Ryan said, as long as it's got a cool beat and a cool groove to it, I'm happy. Yeah, it's got to have the hook. It's got it. Yeah. yeah, that's why MJ. I mean, <laughs> literally, it was, still is in a way, but you know. Is that why one more was at rehearsal? Bang out a bit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I want to rock. Yeah. Literally, yeah. they they best they, they best concerts ever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I tend to listen to a, a very mixed genres, same sort of Blink-182, sort of from heavier stuff, Slipknot, as long as it's cool. The uh, next step for us, really, where we want to go, we just want to just, uh, me personally, I just want to get recognition for what we do, because we put so much hard work into what we do, put so much hard work into what we do, that it's just nice when you get rewarded back for it, you know what I mean? When people start, you know, when they, you know, when they start listening to music and it's like, oh no, yeah, that's really good and that and want to know more about you and stuff like that. And that, That's what does it for me, like. Yeah, yeah. and it's, the, the thing for me is as well, is like, um, I mean, it's obviously, we're, we're planning on trying to go to Belgium and things yeah. like that and we want to push ourselves forward and, you know, uh, create more of a professional branch for us, you know, on, on the all seriousness point of view, I think. Uh, the music scene is that saturated and that difficult to get ahead in. So we do we do want to push forward on that and get our music out to more people. And we're currently recording, you know, a lot of records at the minute. And the point is, I want I want people sometimes who know me to sit down and listen to it and not even believe it's me who's done it. Yeah, that's exactly. I mean, it. that that to me is is a point when mm. I think you know we're on the right track. Um, and the. The stuff that we've been doing, trying to progress forward, and trying to become better songwriters, yeah. and and trying to uh, make ourselves sound more professional and push ourselves to the extent we can. I mean, it's like would I write songs and he's so unforgiving. I mean, it's like in all, in all fairness, <laughs> it's like you'll bring something to him. It's like, dude, it's, it's not going to work, man. You know what I mean? And it's like it, if Carl Jones can't feel it, you know it's not happening. So you know, and 
we want to we want to push everything like that. We want to make everything at the best of its complete abilities, mm. and we need to, to take any steps necessary to get to that point. Now, can I, can I share some secrets? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I don't. We it's, do. like, it's it's not really a band related thing. It's just this guy has had so many women on the go. <laughs> That's the only secret it is. It was, it was a bit of a play. He's not now. He's, he's settled. He has settled down, but the, there was. I lost count of how many. Too, too much drama. It was literally Hollyoaks. <laughs> 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 